What is good, friends? We are here with uh, OUPL, uh, week number three, and we got a light horse with I Love League. I think this is for UPL. I haven't checked the thread, but like I'm pretty sure. I know they're both starring for their teams, but yeah, let me try to look at the teams before the turns go by too fast. We have some Mega Managing Bulky Offense from I Love League. We have uh, a Zard team from Lighthouse. So let me see if it's Zard Y or X. Zard Y is just not common at all at the moment, but. Zard X is not common. Did I say Zard Y? You don't see Zard X at all. But like, a Toxic Spice Greninja is interesting from All of League's part. That's not really a set you see these days. Um, usually I see regular spikes. Goes hard into Medicham because the best tangles can do the Medicham is Giga Drain. So if the Medicham is adamant and I assume it's gonna run Thunder Punch because there's a Tapu Kuku, so that's like to do a lot of damage to Mega Sableye and break through Tox packs. You don't need that, but if you have Electric Terrain T Punch. But yeah, Megina lives a high jump kick from full. If it's max HP, I don't know if it's offensive Megina. If it's offensive Megina, it probably dies. But yeah, so if I got into high jump kick, I don't know if that would kill. I assume it still won't kill. I'm not 100% sure if you guys can hear the music because I have some... <laughs> some setting issues here in my computer. But yeah, you, sh you guys should be able to hear the music. So if Fake Out plus High Jump Kick kills, he's gonna switch out on the Fake Out. But if it doesn't... Like, he will know the Kalk if he's... So Leak make the plain HJK there, which was like... He was probably in the mindset that he just wants damage on the Megina, or he knew that Fake Out into High Jump Kick would kill, and Lighthouse might switch out. Uh, Lighthouse going to Zard kinda confirms that he's timid, and he would outspeed the Mana Gem. He goes Heart Ninja. We see Zard Y as I was assuming. It's like, you never see Zard X, and I just don't see Zard X on this team either. Like, I don't know why. I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but <laughs> I just didn't think it was Zard X. So he makes the high jump kick play again. After he U turn with Greninja on the Megina. So it's Protein U turn Toxic Spikes. What? I don't know if it's Sash Greninja or if he's Scarf. Looking at the team, he's probably Scarf Greninja because he's weak to. Uh, he's pretty weak to Volcarona. Like Volcarona is either paired with Duck Trio or it runs HP Ground, so Heatran is not an answer. So he might be Rockside um, Tangrowth too to prevent Volcarona from setting up. I mean, like Volcarona doesn't set up on that much to be honest. Um, it sets up on Skumbri, so I don't know if that has has Wilman to prevent the setup. But yeah, he makes the pivot there from Landris into Megina. After the Intimidate is off, this Megina will be able to live a higher jump kick. And depending on this Megina set. I could see this being uh, Zemo's Megina. Um, it's probably Scarf Latios. Metagross is still allowed, so maybe he's Helmet Tangros, but he doesn't have to be. Uh, yeah, it's Zemo's Megina. It was hard for the Gigavolt Havoc that is on ele electric terrain, so it's gonna do a lot to the Coco, even though it's resisted. And I assume this is the standard Magnet Coco set. And. Maybe um, Bloom Dome Heatran, but yeah, Coco could also have the Z move. But Bloom Dome Heatran is more likely, if you ask me. So since he has Toxic Spikes, maybe this Gamry doesn't have spikes. Maybe it's Rocks, Rocks Torn Magma Storm Bloom Dome Trend without Earth Power, or maybe it doesn't have Torn and it has Earth Power over that, and it has Rocks, and this Gamry has spikes. Or this Gamry is the Rock, and the Heatran doesn't have Rocks, and it has Torn and Earth Power and Bloom Dome and. Magma Storm. That's what I'm thinking at least. Um, don't think it would be Suicide Lead Skarmory, cause like... It's not Hyper Offense, it's just like bulky offense. Like just from that... I feel like... I'm able to... Kinda figure out the sets from the team from looking at it that way. But yeah. Uh, Medichin basically gets a kill here with... He can try to go Landris, but 
The Ice Punch might kill the Tangrowth. I think the U-turn damage from Coco indicates or tells us, however you said it in English, tells us that this is a uh, assault with Tangrowth. Because I think Fist Death Tangrowth, we don't see leftovers, we don't see helmet, and Fist Death Tangrowth will either be U-turn better because Coco's run minus attack nature most of the time. Even though Coco has a decent uh, attack stat, you don't want to lower the defenses by changing the nature that way. The Ice Punch probably kills the AB Tang. Not 100% sure, but uh, it, sh it should. So I feel like he will high jump kick here. Cause since the Ice Punch is kind of obvious, I don't think Lighthouses would go Landris. Like, he kind of has to pick a fodder, but... If he scarf Lily, he can go Lily once. But just looking at the team, he's... Pro like I said earlier, probably scarf Ladi. Like, is that why? Is that why Shaq's most Volcaronas, but it's still not really a counter? Because Star Fox can be up, and Volcarona can run Inferno Overdrive, even though it's not common these days. But Inferno Overdrive at plus one, okay. Inferno Overdrive at plus one does a hell of a lot. Is that why as Pokemon would say? Like, it does so much. He surprisingly um, lifts the Ice Punch there, so maybe it is Jolly Medichim. I'm not really sure. Or I'm just underestimating Tangrowth. Well, maybe it's a Solvest Tangles with some Fist Death. But yeah, I don't really saw the reason to not high jump kick there, because, like, he didn't have a switch in to high jump kick. Besides, yeah, Landris again, but he just went Landris earlier. And the Skarmory we will see now. It's left over, so yeah, that kind of confirms that it's defensive. And not the Suicide Lead. Zard goes for Roost, allowing the Skarmory to get up a spike, which is... I mean, probably has Defog on Scarf Lottie. He has to have Defog, obviously, with his art. But yeah, that spike is gonna put in some work. Um, it only hits two months, but like, it still puts in some work. Like, what Leak couldn't have done m anything else if he doesn't have Whirlwind. And Roosting doesn't do anything because he died to the next Flamethrower anyway. He could have tried to go Heatran on the Flamethrower. Like, the on turn 12. Where he went Skarmory. But he surprisingly, surprisingly, um, lets him get up another spike. But, mm, that works out, that works out fine for Lighthouses. So, Lighthouses was like, I want to get the Defog off right now. And I'm willing to give the momentum away and to get the Defog off and I'll let the Skarmory live. That's fair enough. So, a Sun Boosted Magma Storm or Lava Plume, I assume we're gonna see here. Or he can throw up rocks. Yeah, he throws up the rocks, okay. So this, this is either Earthquake or Focus Blast, that why, since he doesn't have a Duggy. I assume he's gonna, yeah, yeah, sack off the Skarmory, exactly. And that was pretty smart to go for Roost there. Pivot back into Heatran is, poten is a potential play, yeah. And... I don't think this has a rock move. I think he's just like trying to play around and see what if this has earthquake or focus blast, trying to get some information, which he gets. And maybe lighthouse will overbreak, but he will just click. Um, he will just click frame over again. <laughs> Crucial leftovers. Like I can understand League's play, but it didn't really do anything. So Coco. If it's Magnet T-Bolt, I think it kills non-HP Zard, but like HP invested Zard might live. It has pretty good speed death that way. It goes hard Lele. This might... Yeah, okay, it changes the terrain. I forgot that it changes the terrain, but he gets a Parallel, which sucks. Um, if it's Scarf Lele, that sucks. If not, it didn't really matter. Um... If he's Scarf Lele, what is his Volcarona check? I think he has to be Scarf Lari or he's Double Scarf. Um. So going Landris there, if this has HP, it doesn't do much for Lighthouses and saving the Lele as Fodder. Uh, saving it as Fodder is nice, but like, Lele doesn't do anything at this point. Like, it should die to Tangros too. Like, Knockoff from Tangros should kill since Lele has bad defense. Or Earthquake from Tangros. But yeah, we see it's HP as Coco, so yeah. I probably would have sacked the. Lily instead, but I don't know his team and his mindset. Landris um, didn't really outspeed much, so I can understand the play. Landris only outsped the Tangros at this point. Unless it's offensive Jolly Lando. 
the landlords do we get any did we get any information about the landlords earlier? No, we didn't. So we I don't know one hundred percent if it's like what the landlord said is, but I assume it's like offensive rocks. It could also be like I don't think League is known for using stall. Because otherwise I could imagine this being some stall breaker lando with uh, offensive rocks, but I'm just going off it being defensive lando. And he didn't expect the nature's m uh, the HPIs, he might have expected uh, the Taunt Nature's Madness set or something like that. But yeah, just bring this in, it kind of confirms that he's Scarf Lottie. I mean, even if he's not Scarf Lottie, he lives any hit and he can defog. Um, but if he's Scarf Lottie, this is kind of tough because he has to decide between uh, defogging and attacking. And Heatran just comes in on this, or Tang Tanguis just comes in on this if it's AV anyway. Max damage on Landris, so he was max HP Landris. And he probably. Yeah, he said you don't know my item. Maybe he's white glass, wise glasses, or whatever that is called. Or expert belt Coco. Or, I don't know. But yeah, I think he has some spadef on Landris, otherwise, he wouldn't have said that it was max damage. But yeah, he breaks the Psychic there, or Psy Shark, which gets the play correct. There was a wild play, goes Heart Ninja. Maybe he decided. I'm willing to sack this Greninja, and if he goes for Defog, I get my Greninja, and if he goes for Psychic Move, I get my Greninja, and yeah. Uh, I think it's Scarf Lighty and Scarf Greninja, because uh, Greninja outspeeding potential Scarf Lighty confirms that it's Scarf Greninja, but forget, um, I, I got that wrong, I got that wrong basically. I still think it's Scarf Greninja, but I got that wrong that it's Scarf Lighty, it's not Scarf Lighty, so now that makes me think that it's Scarf Lily and the Para sucks, obviously. Yeah, the Para sucks a lot then. Um, I don't know, so he's like relying on Zard Y to beat Volcarona is what I, what I get off of this, like of Lari not being Scarf. Scarf T with Lari is what like ABI uses to check Volk, but yeah, he's like pivoting around this which doesn't really do anything. Um, I th yeah, I was about to say, there's no way Tangos lives one. But yeah, he tried, he decided basically, um, I want to sack off my Tangos instead of my Heatron, he had to pick his fodder. And Coco can revenge this if it's uh, maybe expert belt, wise glasses, or I still think it's magnet, but I don't know. Since he said you don't know my item, maybe it's expert belt. But yeah, Lily gets sacked off here, which is the correct play. Lily wasn't doing much; it was paralyzed. Like it wasn't doing anything. <laughs> Um, so Medicham, he doesn't want to go Zard because rocks up. He's probably gonna go Larios here because Mag Magiana dies to a high jump kick, yeah. And you can get some good damage over Fake Out. If he has a bullet punch, he can probably kill it with Fake Out and the bullet punch, but I don't think he would have that. And we see it only does 31, so that doesn't even kill unless he gets a super high roll. Uh, but yeah, that probably doesn't kill then. And like, still until uh, Mega Dianzi is released, mm, they Medichamps don't really run bullet punch. So he goes for Draco this time in case he goes Heart Ninja again. But yeah, Leak should have this game uh, wrapped up with his Tapu Coco and with Stealth Rocks up that pressure the Zard Y and the uh, the Mijuna probably can't switch into Coco. It should get two killed because it's Z move Mijuna, it's not a Salt Vest. <coughs> Yeah, Volt Switch kills. Um, I think he changed that moves earlier, so he can't. I don't think he specs. Coco used. Yeah, he can fake out the Zard here. Coco used T Volt. Yeah, I think he T Volted the Landris and then he's changed it up and went for HPI, so he's not just for sure. Yeah, this is Timid Zard for sure. And, like, he gets another kill here with Zard, basically. Like, Coco dies at 34 to Earthquake, obviously, so he can just click Earthquake. He can also Roost. <coughs> he can lift the uh, Earthquake from full, I assume. Because you have to run, like, Attack Investment or, like, minus Defense Nature on Zard Y, like, so that you're neutral in Attack Nature. You have to run that to be able to Oko Tran. But yeah, as you can see, it lives. I assume that's just Offensive Standard Tran with Rocks, Magma Storm. Uh, Bloom Doom, which didn't get revealed yet, and do we see the Earth Power on the Roost? We do see the Earth Power on the Roost, which is pretty cool play that was to be expected to keep the uh, Landris low in case the Coco vs. Uh, did I say Landris? I meant Zard. In case Coco vs. Zard is a roll from full, getting that crucial the damage with um, 
Earth power could be crucial. <clears throat> yeah, Magicham just wins this with a high jump kick if he can hit. But he's probably gonna go for Fake Out. Fake Out into Thunder Punch is probably the play. Yeah, yeah, Fake Out into Thunder Punch is the play. So that way, if that doesn't kill, uh, he risks the high jump kick. I thought he didn't have to risk that, cause like... Fake Out and T-Punch plus a uh, Coco attack should kill, but I can understand... I can understand the play in the sense that it might be Trick Room or Shift Gear Majorna. So I can completely understand that play. So he basically had to risk that, I feel, yeah. Like, at first I was after the assumption that he had a 100% win and didn't have to risk it, but then I realized if it's Shift Gear Majorna or Trick Room, it can still win. Yeah, I love Leak takes the win. He has been doing pretty well. I don't remember how he did week one, but I know he won week two. And we will just go to the forums a bit and we will see if this is really for you, PL, if I was recording something random. Um, I love League versus Lighthouse is worth was for OUPL. The score is now um, two and two after League picking up the win. I recorded this game too, tricking with Eternal. I should probably upload the Eternal game a few hours before this one. And yeah, I didn't see the other two. Actually, I put the replay of Emperor vs. Sabella and played it in the. I played it in kind of fast, went over it like kind of fast at the end of the Eternal vs. Tricking video. So you guys saw that too if you watched that. And yeah, this was black and white, so I didn't see it. Uh, most of the games are happening on the weekend, but it was cool to see uh, one game today. Um, might record some Circle Jerk Tournament if Corey's game is soon. He told me it's at 9 and it's already 20 minutes uh, after 9, so I'm not sure if I missed it yet. Thank you guys for watching and uh, Doc Rich signing out. Peace, my peace, my guys. Um, God lord, I fuck up, fucked up my, I fuck up my outro every time, dude. Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Peace out, friends.